I have concluded a long-term experiment that demonstrates the existence of an intervening factor or force or presence in the outcome of certain probabilistic events. This finding has not heretofore been identified or even considered by the scientific community. The inescapable conclusion flies in the face of a science founded upon three-dimensional principles, but it is nonetheless irrefutable, and I have the published documentation to prove it. The laboratory was a casino environment, the game Rolls of Dice, otherwise known as craps. Pascal, who developed the scientific discipline of statistics, produced his data from Rolls of Dice. The random distribution of the 36 possible combinations of two die yielded what came to be known as the bell-shaped curve, or normal distribution curve, and is widely used to show results in scientific experimentation. I began by collecting data, tabulating the outcome of decision events on the even money wager pass and don't pass. I placed a small clipboard beneath the table railing, out of sight of the casino personnel, and shielded from the overhead cameras. The results were recorded on graph paper, a grid form, with 64 dice decision events across, five per page. After over 11,000 decision events, I was able to deduce that there was a substantial divergence between the expected statistical outcome and the actual outcome. This was highly significant, and there was no way to account for it by applying any known statistical means. Additionally, the aberrant data results were correlated with seemingly unrelated situations and matters that were occurring all around me, involving the other players, time considerations, and personal factors such as my thoughts or state of mind. I noted everything that was going on and made a record for later study to be compared and analyzed when outside the casino context. What I discovered was nothing short of astounding. It became increasingly apparent to me that the game itself was serving as a vehicle for expressing the intervention of certain exogenous influences that were mostly invisible and that operated from another dimension. There were clear indications of this, and with repeated confirmation the conclusions which I obtained were inescapable, and that is, what appeared to be a random distribution of equal probability events was in fact not random at all but was structured in such a manner that it was interactive with the other players. I was able to put this in mathematical terms, and when I compared what statistically was valid to what was statistically invalid, the obvious manipulation of the bell-shaped normal distribution curve became quite evident. While modern-day science would say this is impossible, or at least was not accountable in so-called scientific terms, Yet, when the facts contradict the theory, the theory must be discarded. And what proved to be the case in a uh, casino, when the outcome of decision events of rolls of dice contradict the mathematical expectancy, and that not just once or twice or on occasion, but rather on a consistent basis, such that any randomness was more the exception than the rule. Also, the degree of event statistical divergence showed that the higher the stakes, the greater the divergence from the expected norm. Thus, exogenous intervention was clearly indicated. I realize this is a very disturbing concept for those who are vested interest in maintaining a belief in a rationalistic science, where observable phenomena must fulfill certain criteria in order to draw conclusions from experimental data. Yet my understanding is not limited to the boundaries set by a humanistic belief system, but rather goes wherever the data takes me. In this case, it clearly went beyond the parameters established by a scientific protocol and entered into a realm that is super science, beyond the purview of Newtonian mechanics or quantum physics. What I discovered is that dimensions overlap and realities can be interdependent, confluent, and can violate the laws of nature. I have been able to prove my experimental results by generating consistent data. In a casino, the intervening factor is always present and is a reliable indicator of the dimensional overlap which characterized the study. Outside the casino, the intervening factor is not present, and there is a null correlation. This experiment is open for peer review by those who are not hardwired into the belief system practiced by the mainstream scientific community.